All right, the first thing we're going to do is power up this machine behind us. We're going to start by turning on the main breaker. And then the small green line right here, that's the next thing we push. Give it a few seconds to warm up the control. Everything's coming on. The first thing that comes up is the home return button. So we're going to use the jog and jog it away from the machine zero. So jog it down and jog it away. Now the machine is homing itself out. And when these two lights are lit up, we're home. To turn on the work light, it's the soft key right here. So now we got the machine work light on. An overview of the control. These are the manual switches to control the tool changer. In this case, I don't have an actual turret on this machine. Uh, axis select for the hand wheel. This is the keypad. And over here, everything that is white is the manual control, and everything that's gray is the automatic. So if we want to jog the machine around, we have uh, in the tents, which is this button, then we go to the Ten thousandths, that's a thousandths. We move it around. It's still going fairly slow. If we push both of them at the same time, they both light up, and now that's times 100. So now the machine is actually moving around a little faster. So we can also jog it down manually and then home it. In order to start the spindle, we need to clamp the workpiece, or in this case, my jaw boring plug. So now that it's clamped on something, right here it shows the spindle RPM times 10. So if we ramp this up, 300, that is actually 330, that's actually 300 RPM. Close the door, push start, and the machine saying it's running 299, 300 RPM. In order to stop it, stop the machine, push this button here and that reverses the spindle, and then starting it, and now the spindle is going the opposite way. Another important thing to show you on the control is we're in the manual mode. This rapid here is manual rapid. This spindle is spindle RPM. This feed rate is the jog feed rate in manual. And this coolant button up here is also in the manual mode. So if we close the door and turn on the coolant, then we got coolant spraying around. And then we shut off the coolant. So now, if I change these values and then push auto, now the, now what's displayed here, this is the feed rate, the rapid feed rate in the auto. The spindle RPM is a percentage, so 0 to 100%, 0 to 100% feed rate, and then the coolant. So this is the coolant when the machine is in auto mode. And if I push it, that's how the machine's going to run the coolant. Now when I go back to take, take note of the coolant button, if I go back to manual, it shuts off. So these four 
areas are different from the manual side to the automatic side. If I turn on the coolant in the manual side and then go to auto, the coolant appears to shut off. But once you go back to man, even if you turn it off here, if you go back to manual, the coolant comes back on because it's a separate switch. Important thing to learn so you don't get wet. So anyway, shut off the coolant. For this machine, it'll run up to 3,600 RPM in one gear. This machine is a very unique machine in the fact that it has a tool changer instead of a, a turret like most of the lathes you come across. This has a 16 tool tool changer because this has milling capabilities. Most of the video that I'm going to show you is going to be on the turning side and not the milling side. So in order to change tools, I push the tool select button down and as long as you hold it, it's going to keep rolling. And you let up when you find the tool you want. To change tools in a manual fashion, you unlock the clamp, this pushes the tool out. We can cycle the tool and it stays out. Change the tool, pull it back, and then clamp it. That was an overview of this machine, how to jog it around, turn the spindle on, some things about the control. Stay tuned for more videos on how to get into programming and running the machine.